So you can see right now they're making a lot of noise to try and get the owner of this vehicle to come out and move it. They do give them a little bit of time, so they've got a few minutes to come out and move it, but if they don't come in time, it's going to be towed away. So what's wrong with this vehicle? So basically this is the walkway for pedestrians. And we shoot that part, this car, on the way of the pedestrians. So you can see right now they're connecting the tow to take it away with one of the trucks. And the guy's a little bit upset that his car is being towed away. He said, I've only been here 11 minutes, I've only been here 11 minutes. But that's only because he's only just been caught. Cool. He could have been there for hours blocking the sidewalk. Um, but eventually people have to learn and unfortunately sometimes that involves having a car towed away. I know it absolutely sucks but you know there's no other way of dealing with this people just don't listen unless their cars literally get taken away so of course the problem with this vehicle being here is it's blocking a lane so that means that this four lane road now becomes a three lane road and imagine if someone does the same on the other side or you know they double park or something like that it really adds to traffic so this is the kind of thing that they're dealing with <laughs> So here's an example of more illegally parked vehicles. They basically completely blocked off that lane. So again, this four lane road becomes three lanes. And then when you've got these uh, bank vehicles parked here, it then becomes two lanes. So you basically half the capacity of the road just because of lack of consideration, basically. So here you can see they're trying to clear the sidewalk. Their boxes, their baskets. We have to do these things. Who put these barricades here? They move them or come? They, they move it. They move it. So you can see they're now cleaning up the area. They really shouldn't have to be the ones to do this, but they are. So this lady's now trying to get her stuff back. <laughs> She's not happy that her stuff's being confiscated. I guess at some point you just have to let them go, whether it's right or wrong. Although maybe not, maybe it should be zero tolerance. It's a hard one. And you can see here we have a member of the PMP doing the cleanup, which is really not his job. Um, it's actually quite saddening to see that he has to do it, but he is willing to do it. So yeah, thank you. And you can see everyone's trying to get their stuff away as quickly as possible. sidewalk for people to walk along but no one's able to use it because of all these vendors Of 
course, the idea of taking things is to act as a deterrent so they don't just come back the next day and the next day and the next day. And look, just like that, there's now a little bit of sidewalk that people can actually walk along without having to go in the road. Now, of course, in reality, they're probably going to come back, but if they hit them enough times, maybe they will eventually learn. Look at that. Within maybe, well, my camera's been running for two and a half minutes. So within two and a half minutes, there's now a clear sidewalk. How long it will stay like that, I don't know, but it's there for now.